the lady circle brought to you by yaz sanitary pad onga yum vita mtn cowbell our milk gluta white we they work hard, so we they play hard. Talk about touchy issues. No, no time to stress on. Lady Circle. Yeah, yeah, this is. And shout out to you if your name is Monica. Yes. We too, we want to party you. The month of December is here and we're truly in the festive season. Hello everybody, good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of The Lady Circle. As always, we're coming to you from Adesawe in Kanda. And like I said, it's heating up right here on The Lady Circle. My name is Helen Apia Ampofo. And as always, I have some two very beautiful co pilots in the cockpit with me this evening. Allow me to say good evening to Anita and to Sika. Hello, Ooh, ladies. I'm loving you. We're taking a flight with yeah. this episode. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Lady Circle Air. Hey, ah. Get comfortable. This is your captain speaking. Yeah. <laughs> there is no exit. You're stuck here for forever. Life. Forever. Forever. Absolutely. How are we ladies? We're good. We're good. I mean, some few days to <laughs> Christmas. I'm in a mood already. Yes. Very excited because why not? We're going to have a lot to feast on. And of course, Christ will be born once again. <laughs> Yeah. Christ is already risen and living. He's not going to be born <laughs> he'll, again. He will be born but again. But Christmas is always such a great time, no matter what the situation is. Yeah. Whether the economy is down, whether the petrol prices <sighs> are up or down, I am still happy because you've made it through the whole year hmm. with family, with friends, with ladies, fabulous oh. ladies of the ladies circle. So yes, we absolutely excited. We made it, yeah. absolutely. But Sika, before you start giving your shout outs, <laughs> I hope you are both uh, getting ready to present me with my Christmas gift this Christmas year. Christmas gift, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about it later, but what is important now, Helen, <laughs> is we say a very big thank you to our sponsors who have been with us all, who have been with us all year, supports the Lady Circle, making sure that every Saturday at 6 p.m. on TV3, we come to you bringing all the goodies. So a very big thank you to Yaz Sanitary Pad and Glutha White, as well as MTN. And of course, to Woodine and Tasty Tom for being with us all throughout the year, Helen. Also, some more thank yous going out to Yamvita and to Cowbell. Mm. Now, if you are ready, we're about to get into the festivities. I told you, December is here hot, hot, hot. We have a very hot guest this evening. She's a TV personality known for hosting shows such as Miss Malaika, Ooh. is it ringing any bells, people? Yeah. Now, uh, now, whilst you, you know, <clears throat> throw a few names into the hat, let's take a look at that profile. Regina Van Helvert is a dynamic Ghanaian media personality with a diverse presence in the entertainment industry. Her multifaceted career encompasses hosting, acting, and various roles within the media landscape in Ghana. Known for her vibrant and engaging presence, Regina has been associated with a range of projects, including hosting television shows and participating in noteworthy events. Her professionalism and talent have contributed to her standing as a recognized figure in the Ghanaian entertainment scene. Regina Van Helvert continues to make her mark through her contributions to the media, showcasing versatility and charisma in her various endeavors. Regina, welcome to the Ladies Circle. Regina can go down. Wow. Yeah. You, you were giving us shy in the beginning. Oh, come and break it down, break it down, break it down, break it down. Oh, it's easing into it. Don't mess with Regina. Don't mess with don't Regina. Don't mess. Don't, don't. When, when it comes to the. Uh, 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 wait, let, let me pass it to Anita. Anita, pass okay, it. Okay, okay, let's go. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mm, get it. Mm, 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 mm. Give it. Uh, 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 <laughs> Oh, there we oh go. my God. I'm so <laughs> the energy. 
excited to be on the Lady Circle. Aww. Okay, you ladies are doing amazing. Thank and I love you. the vibe. Yeah. So we'll be getting um, into more conversations with Regina, but before that, Yaz mm -hmm. has a little message for you. Now, are you having to cross-check several times? Changing outfits because you are not sure. Cancelling appointments to prevent any embarrassment or feeling insecure all because it's that time of the month. Yaz says this Christmas festive season, that is going to be a no-no. If you've never used Yaz before, because with Yaz, you're always covered. With Yaz, you feel confident, with no stress, you can go for the Yaz extra long, extra minty, extra um, heavy flow, or Yaz Herbal. Try the all new Yaz Minty Extra Long Sanitary Pad. It comes with mint, with extra long wings, and free panty liners with disposable bags. With this, you're always good to go. Choose Yaz, choose right this festive season. And of course, this festive season is just one fabric and one fabric only, and that is Woodin. So if you want to look smart and fashionable, then you have to visit any Woodin retail shop nationwide today as Woodin offers an amazing collection of authentic African fabrics and ready to wear that come in beautiful designs and colors for men and women. So with Woodin, you can get creative and versatile with your designs. Be confident and show of how truly African you are in Woodin. Go to a Woodin retail shop near you today and choose from a variety of trendy products to complement your unique style. And after doing that, don't forget to follow Woodin Fashion on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. At Woodin, we say what, ladies? Look, Look creative. <laughs> <laughs> well, at this point, we're going for a quick commercial break. When we come back, we are talking about something very juicy, my hey. darling. You don't want to miss this conversation. Very juicy, spicy, and everything you would love to listen to. And so this is so the ladies circle. We'll be back after this break. Do stay. Yeah, yeah, this is ladies circle. Yeah, yeah, this is ladies circle. Many thanks to Yas yeah, Sanitary Pad, MTN. Yam Vita, Onga, Woodin. All right, welcome back. This is the Lady Circle. And if you just joined us, don't worry at all. You haven't missed any little bit of the conversation because we're just about to delve into it. Now, let me take you back a little bit. Some months ago, I mean, it was all over social media, a young lady who was in a relationship with a man whose age... I mean, as compared to hers, there was some kind of a gap. And the only reason why they were in that relationship, um, from the lady's point of view, was for financial benefits. The man, obviously, whatever he wanted is what he was getting. And then things went down south. The whole issue ended up in court. And a few months down the line, we're back to the same issue because the judge has ruled over the issue. And the lady has been asked to pay a certain amount of money. And the man definitely goes away back to his family maybe or back to his normal life now the crux of the issue right here is the fact that a lot of ladies are dealing with this kind of issue where you go into a space wanting to work and then you have older men coming at you recently on the day show with bella mundi uh there was a conversation also about the fact that a lot of young men are competing with the older men in terms of financial capabilities what you can do for a young lady that you know some other men can do better and this has become very, very topical. And so we're looking at the struggles of young ladies, especially when it comes to a lot of men coming after them. They're not being able to say no. And even some older men go through this whole issue as well. Well, let's target as the sugar daddy syndrome. That is what is happening. And so ladies, I know you are familiar with the story we're talking about, but I'll start off with Regina. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it okay for me? Yes. What, what is your general mm. thought on this entire issue? I mean, this sugar daddy relationships mm -hmm. and how juicy it always sounds mm. till it goes down south. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so first of all, who is a sugar daddy? Mm. Oh, describe who it is for a us. sugar daddy? Yeah. Mm. Anita, tell me who's a sugar daddy. <laughs> a, a daddy with sugar. <laughs> a daddy with a lot of sugar. I, I, I have friends who call their dads sugar daddies. Eh? Like their like biological their normal, fathers. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because I don't like to judge people. And so whatever your decision is on who you want to date or who you want to be with, it's totally up to you. Yeah. Um, so mostly with conversations like that, just leave it on the doorstep of whoever is involved. 
Um, age oh. really is not a problem for me so mm -hmm. much. Doesn't the yeah. element of them being married mm -hmm. play into the whole sugar daddy status? Because if you have a young man who can just provide for you, mm -hmm. right? I think, I think what makes it mm -hmm. a sugar daddy is when the person is married. To be fair, mm -hmm. it's the age gap yeah. okay. issue which is a problem. I think in this particular case with this lady, yeah. um, as well as this gentleman, it was also the fact that he was married, yeah. he had a family, he had mm -hmm. a wife, okay. um, and she knowingly mm -hmm. went into the situation because mm -hmm. um, he promised her all these things. Mm -hmm. um, it's one thing to say that um, young women, and I think we've all experienced it at some point mm -hmm. in our lives. A lot of the times they seem to think that we in the entertainment space mm -hmm. seem to do it quite a lot because As of... As have a lot of sugar that mm -hmm. eats. Or we seem to have people who are funding our lifestyle yeah. or yeah. whatever. But I can categorically say mm -hmm. that I have worked in a corporate space. I have worked when I was in brand um, development and advertising. And even when... Regardless... It's mm -hmm. everywhere. If they want to talk to you yeah. and woo you, mm -hmm. they will woo you, right? You Based, always have a choice. You always have a choice. Yeah. So yeah. I don't really like to say, oh, because they are putting pressure, that's what it's... No, mm -hmm. it's your life, it's your decision. You say no or you say yes. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. and in this yeah. instance, the, the, the lady involved, she's owned up. That is yeah. her life. She, she wants her to do it. And yeah. I appreciate, she's done I appreciate it. the honesty. And exactly, the, yeah. I mean, you, you can't fault her. Mm. But let me come to you, Helen. Sure. Do you... Think about, uh, <laughs> do you think that when it comes to these relationships, mm. especially because this one ended up in court, yes, we should have legal backings. Okay, so <laughs> let's think about it from a legal perspective, all mm -hmm. right? Because um, I, you know, didn't follow this case too keenly, only because I find these talk conversations so noisy mm -hmm. and everybody has their own opinion, their own inputs that sometimes doesn't really... Um, allow us to learn any lessons. Mm -hmm. So from a legal standpoint, I believe she would have gone to court maybe on the basis of a breach of a contract. And mm -hmm. what is a contract? An agreement between two or more people that is legally enforceable in the courts. Yeah. There's a saying, those who come to courts must come with what? Clean, Clean hands. hands. So I think that's where um, the courts were, were, you know, siding. Me, if I were a judge on the panel, I would have awarded her um, whatever it is that she, she was, was after. <laughs> because, you know, an agreement is an, an agreement. Mm -hmm. uh, a lack of mo morality is not a crime. Mm -hmm. But I, I fi find it as a society, sometimes we're hypocritical. The courts will say, mm -hmm. well, let's not um, uphold this. Um, there's verbal contracts. Like, mm -hmm. A lot of the times people are like, no, if it's not written down, it's not a contract. No, legally there are verbal contracts. Mm -hmm. My question then becomes, um, how do we decipher between just a promise mm -hmm. and what is really a contract? Mm -hmm. And what is contractually binding? Because mm. I can <laughs> promise you an iPhone, but not really um, having any intention to <laughs> stick to my well, word. Well, that's hmm? the danger. So I think that's the, that's the cautionary tale also to our, <laughs> let's say, our sugar daddies. You're promising heaven and yes. earth. Yes. I mean, you're relying on that promise. Exactly. Somebody might rely on that promise and quit their job. Mm -hmm. and yeah. you find yourself yeah. in court. Mm -hmm. Don't talk too much. Exactly. Don't talk <laughs> too, too much. Money. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, you're, you're out here, like I say, you and, and some of these relationships, they go on for years mm -hmm. and months. Sometimes there are children born out of these sorts of relationships. Yeah. But, you know, we're very quick to discard the woman. And, you know, as the, the story has progressed, We've almost forgotten that there's another person in the mm. whole equation. Yeah. Somebody right. has the allegiance, yeah. wife. Mm -hmm. yeah. allegiance to someone else. Somebody who has made vows to somebody else. Mm -hmm. But as it is in our part of the world, in our society, he's walking around free. Yeah. She will forever be the side chick. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And you know, they never learn. That is the thing. They Who's the they? The, the men. Mm. They never learn. There's been a lady who sort of sympathizes were the young lady who took the sugar daddy to court. Mm. So um, this, this whole issue has brought up different, you know, um, objectives and what people think and all of that. And so this lady made a video um, and posted it on Facebook, and she says that she has a 27-year-old daughter, and her daughter is Leonard. She's gone to school. She has a master's, and she's so brilliant that she should have a job. Mm. Not that she hasn't tried. She's tried, and people who are even friends of the woman herself, are expecting the woman to bring something before they employ her daughter. Mm. So then she's thinking that if me, the mother, I'm going through this, what will my daughter go through? Imagine if I am not keeping tabs on my daughter. I am not telling her what to do and I am not in the picture. Maybe she lives alone and she does what she pleases. Mm -hmm. She may end up in the hands of any of these men because she wants a job. But I want us to take a look at the video. When we come back, ladies, we share our thoughts on this other side of the equation.
Let me tell you something. Me, I'm a mother. I have a 27 year old daughter who is unemployed. And she's a good kid. She finished a KNUST, Tech, Kumasi, read biochemistry before she turned 20 years. She has no job. She has a master's in public health from Legon. She has no job. She's a certified data miner. She did large data at IPMC. She's a good kid. During vacations, she's either taking French classes, IT classes, or doing internship. I exposed her. I've given her the best every parent could give her child. Yet, there's no job. My own friends, some men, in a, in a, a desperate attempt to get my child a job, some of my own friends, male friends, look into my face and ask to sleep with me. So um, this woman shared the plight of a lot of young ladies, including herself and her daughter, mm -hmm. what they are going through. And I want to find out from Sika what you think about her stance, uh, the fact that even some men want to have their way with her before they give her daughter a job. I mean, to be fair, I sympathize with her. And the truth of the matter is it has progressively gotten worse mm. over time mm. because times are hard. Mm -hmm. Also, maybe some of these men understand that, well, it's easier to convince you know, the young ladies mm -hmm. to, to fall for these things because they need the help. And we all need help, mm -hmm. actually. And like I've said, it has been happening for over time. Mm -hmm. So I do sympathize with her. I sympathize with um, the daughter. Um, there are a lot of females and males mm -hmm. out there who are struggling to get jobs because the job market is not what it used to be. It's not what it's supposed to be. Yeah. The question, once again, is do you decide to take this route when oh. other people are also deciding, you know what, mm -hmm. I'm still going to stick to what I believe in, to my morals, mm -hmm. and not fall for that. Yes. Once again, it's a choice. Mm -hmm. And we're not judging your choice. You mm -hmm. can choose that. But understand that with those kind of choices come certain consequences. Yeah. Some of us just don't have the, the guts to be able to go certain routes. And we just stick in our corner mm -hmm. and do what we can to be able to get ahead. So it's really up to you. Nobody's judging your choice. Mm -hmm. But just know it comes with consequences. Mm -hmm. But you know, in the situation of this young lady who took the sugar daddy to court, mm -hmm. she was working in a exactly. private bank. Exactly, I was going to say was, that. She, that she had a job, she had a but job. maybe she wanted yeah. to live above her lifestyle. And mm -hmm. so the man came often and then she grabbed it. Mm -hmm. But then again, why did you do it? You know, you can actually live within your means and that will not put that pressure on you to want to live that yes. certain lifestyle where you have to sleep with a sugar daddy to make, you know, ends meet. I, I don't know how much she was getting paid, but... Um, I don't think she you she's she's rented quite, an apartment and all of that. She's mm -hmm. quite um, adamant that she just wasn't somebody he found on the street. That he she's an intelligent, smart, hardworking girl. That so he if you're intelligent, smart, he hardworking in the bank. So I think that also sort of like um, went against her mm -hmm. legally as well. Because then it's like okay, if you say that you are capable of taking mm -hmm. care of yourself, mm -hmm. but yet in the, in the same vein, you're talking about the fact that he promised you all these financial things and mm -hmm. that was the draw. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a disconnect there. Where the consequences it gets... then is that, you know, she can't <laughs> provide for herself because yeah. now you've left, you're sitting home, someone has made promises. And you've relied on those promises. And yeah, now so that's where he's she not has coming a through. So that's yeah. why for me, legally, if this were not to be a sugar, baby sugar daddy relationship, mm -hmm. the courts might view it differently because of that element of um, contractual, you know, that, that contractual acceptance, acceptance yeah. the consideration. Somebody telling you, stay at home mm -hmm. so that I'll give I can you this take, care, take of care of you. I am a little bit conflicted. For me, though, um, the video of our sweet auntie lamenting <laughs> that, you know, for a young lady to get a job, you mm -hmm. know, she's being solicited left, right, and center. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why, as a nation, our, our growth is where it is. Yeah. People who are deserving of the jobs don't get in the spaces. Productivity is low. Yeah. You have offices filled with sugar babies, mm -hmm. and we're not going anywhere. So, you know. Mm. Serum or th this lady is one out of maybe 10 that have gone through this. Mm -hmm. Some are living to their promises. So then you try, it's a try your luck thing. <laughs> if one doesn't work and you feel like this is the career path you want to take, 
You career try, path. You try it's a career person. for a lot of people. Aren't it's a okay. career for a lot yeah. of people. Okay. Some people are proud of what they've been able to achieve because mm -hmm. of what somebody else has got in them. Yeah. We can't preach values and morals mm -hmm. to people. This life, everybody's going to choose their path mm -hmm. and wherever it takes them, it takes them. Let's, let's wrap up on this. I, I think I mentioned it earlier, mm -hmm. but Lamundi mentioned that a lot of young men are under severe pressure because of this whole sugar daddy stuff because they can't match up. Mm -hmm. And you have a girlfriend, and the next moment, once you get that, you just take her away, and it puts a lot of pressure on you. I don't know what you think, Regina. You think um, the men are competing, or the young men are competing with the wrong age gap, different financial mm -hmm. standings, and all of mm -hmm. that. Well, one thing I always say is the sugar daddies that are funding the lifestyles, they have wives, they have partners that they started with, mm -hmm. and at that point when they were starting. I'm sure they didn't have anything, but those ladies stuck with them. So it's about finding the right woman that will stick with you mm -hmm. from the point where you had nothing. In this day and age. You, oh, there are people like that. Oh. Yes, there are people like that. <laughs> I, I, I'm like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. One oh, out yeah. of a hundred. Oh. Yeah, my ex is, uh, you know, mm. oh, no, that's a small hundred. So but like we're not. That. Yeah. Mm. You've had such a great, you know, journey so yeah. far. Like mm -hmm. you said, TV, mm -hmm. radio, Miss Malaika, you have done it all. Mm -hmm. What are some of the words that come to mind to sort of sum up that journey for you? The word, I think, is just blessed um, mm -hmm. because of how it started for me. I d so I didn't want to do beauty pageants, but I was just home one day and then um, I saw that people were uploading photos and they were at the auditions and then I was like, oh, okay, she made it, this person made it. So I started asking questions. Did they ask you about ministers? And you know, I'm like, oh no, it's just about myself. Because at that time I was scared that if I go and I'm not able to answer a question properly, I will be embarrassed by the yeah. judges. So I didn't want to go. From Malaika, I was called in, because I was very witty in the pageant. I mean, I'm that girl that everywhere we pop up, they're like, okay, we need someone to speak, you know, to represent the ladies. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm going to talk now. I'll just be like, hi, we're here. It's beautiful. Look around. You know, it's all over the place. <laughs> um, but I guess that also left, you know, memories in the minds of people, because people always remember me for how witty and how all over the place I was. And then one time, Jay Foley called and said, I think you can do radio, because I watch you every time, and I think you're great. So radio came along, and then movies came, and then endorsement deals came, and it's been like that. But I think talking about reality shows, let's talk about the latest baby on the block. Oh, yep. yes. Ghana's most, most photogenic. photogenic. We know you love to take pictures, Regina. You, you are the you, new Anita. No, you, oh, wait. <laughs> And this is where I and sit. And the award for the person that likes to take the we most pictures goes to Regina. <laughs> you know, you, you know some Regina loves Anita. to take. Give me two poses now. Actually, three poses. Give Come us, on. Give us two poses. Come on. Three. Bum, pow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, let, let's talk about how it all came about mm -hmm. because. We know of other uh, shows, yeah. you know, beauty pageants mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. And then boom, mm -hmm. there's one that's talking about models, watching pictures on social media. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I wish I could wear that bikini, but <laughs> girl, you cannot. <laughs> Let's talk about, I mean, the backstories okay. and how it all happened. Um, so how did it happen? I think I was there and I got a call from Apefa. Mm -hmm. And she asked if I think I could host um, Ghana's Most Photogenic. So I asked her what it was about, and she just said, oh, um, it's just, um, you want to give opportunities to young ladies who want to be models, yeah. so we're going to give them the spotlight, we're going to help them build their confidence, just pretty much anything that they need, and at the end of the competition, um, they get some deals that would actually help them start off their career as yeah. models. And because I had experience in that field, of course, from Miss Malaika, it's like, yeah, sure, why not? Mm -hmm. um, so opportunity came, I grabbed it real quick, and now we are here, we're doing it, and we're doing it well, I guess. Exactly, <laughs> but so far, how's mm -hmm. it going? Because we see the ladies giving mm -hmm. some See, yes. already we're seeing the, we're seeing, we're seeing the transformation from day yes. one, and yes. even just after some few mm -hmm. weeks, I watch mm -hmm. them and I'm like, ah, who is this yeah. again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. talk about being with them and seeing them go through that mm -hmm. process. I mean, you have been in beauty pageantry, yes. so you know how the transformation is like. But yeah. this is totally different. It was quick. It was quick. I'm not gonna lie. Um, when we started, 
I saw some of the ladies that came in, they weren't too confident, others inexperienced, you've not done this before, mm -hmm. you know, but there's been so much growth and it happened so fast. I think I have my judges to, to thank for that because mm -hmm. they are very, very encouraging. Like when the ladies come in, they're able to tell them, okay, I think you need to work on this and mm -hmm. work on that. Also, every member on the set, the crew, they are, they're awesome, you know, mm -hmm. they, Paula is always there to give advice. The photographers are there to give advice as well. Um, the makeup artist on set makes them look really good. And I think that also b builds their confidence as well. The way they look, the way they dress up. And so, so far, so good. Not I think there's been tremendous yeah. growth. I mean, it's great to have judges mm. that are encouraging. Oh, yes. Well done, yeah. judges. But sometimes mm -hmm. you need a Simon Cowell in there. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. 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 this male judge, uh -huh. I've forgotten his name. Rodney? Or Rodney. Rodney. Yeah. Rodney. Is, he, yes. is he the Simon? Um, in the <laughs> you know, because Ro to be yeah. honest, mm -hmm. the industry in which they're going to mm -hmm. is cut throat. Mm -hmm. yes. So sometimes you need to toughen them up. Mm -hmm. You need to build their resolve yes. and know that it's yeah. not everybody that's going to say, oh, mm -hmm. you're good. Yeah. You can move it. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, girl, you ain't cutting it. Mm -hmm. You better put up <laughs> or walk. Like, you need that. Ooh. I get it, yeah. But, Regina, I'm sure yeah. people are wondering, oh, when does this air? That, that is, if you have not been watching TV3 or following us on social media, people are wondering, when does it air? How can I watch it? Okay. Do we have to vote for the ladies? Yeah, okay. Uh, well, are we evicting, by the way? Okay. Oh, yeah, eviction is starting. Nice one. Very soon. Soon. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think the grace period is over now, so it's down to serious business. If your favorite model is in there, you just have to download the TV3 reality show app. Mm -hmm on your Google Play Store or your App Store, and then you can vote for your favorite contestants. You can actually see how well they're doing on this. So it's just for you to keep up and know what they're up to. Um, also, you can watch every Saturday mm -hmm. evening at 8 p.m. We go live. We're on all the social media platforms. So if you don't get it wherever you are, if you're outside Ghana or outside um, anywhere in the world, you can actually watch it live on Facebook. So yes, you can do that. Lovely. Yeah. Amazing, Amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. So on Saturdays, when you tune in, in fact, all day, just don't move. Keep yeah. that dial on TV3. Mm -hmm. And especially when you tune into the Ladies Circle from 6 p.m., just leave the dial Watch the there. news. Just watch the news, the whole After whole hours. shebang, and stick for some Ghana's most photogenic. Yes. On this note, we'll pause for a quick breather. When we come back, there's more juicy conversations, some games, and some top tips. This is still the Ladies Circle. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, the Welcome back. This is still the Lady Circle. We're still chopping it up with the very, very gorgeous Regina Van Helvet this evening. And as I mentioned before we went on that break, there is more excitement over on this side. Ladies. Ladies. Are we ready to get into the game section? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Who's feeling competitive? As always. Ah. Who's as always? Sika. Oh, okay, Sika. <laughs> <laughs> I need to watch I need to hope you. you're feeling competitive yeah, as well. I am, I am. But looking at what's, what's ahead of us, I don't know if I still want to be competitive. Okay, let me Let's let see. me explain how the game is going to go. We won't okay. do this as an individual sport this time round. We'll mm. do this in teams of two. Okay. I think for proximity's sake, we'll do it as Team Helen and Anita, okay. Team Sika and Regina. So okay. Team Win, Team Win over here, Team Win, Team Win. Team Win, team win. Team always. Team <laughs> well, this game is simple. We've got 12 cups that are filled with water. Mm. Each team uh, member is supposed to transport that singular ball into each of those cups and end up on the finish line. The catch, you don't use your hands. The spoon is in your mouth. You're mm -hmm. transporting the ball from the spoon into the cup, cup to cup to cup. One okay. ball is moved with the spoon in your mouth. And wait, wait, wait. Is everybody ready? Yeah. And go. Go. Yes, Helen, make me proud. Let's go, you can do this, darling. You are in white. That's victory for you, baby. Let's go. Beautifully done. It looks easy. Regina, please. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yes, Helen, you can do it. You can do it, you can do it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Well done. Let's go, Helen. Hurry up, Helen. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, Regina. You got this, you got this. This must have been it? a tie. It's it was a tie, tie, right? It was. Well, we need yeah, to break this tie. Other team members, <laughs> can you do this? It, it can't be a tie. It was a tie. I think, I think it went at the same time. Yeah. yeah. The director says it dropped at the same time. Magic. Oh, yeah. Woo! Legos. 
Yes. Go Chicago, 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 Chicago. Yes. Yes. Chicago, yes. Chicago, yes. Chicago. Yes. Hmm. Um, but they actually have to drop into the water. Okay. Um, Chicago, Chicago you got into the water, <laughs> yes. And, and left there and re-picked her. <laughs> uh, but Anita, as you can go see, Chicago, she Chicago. Thinks it's allowed, so let's go. go. Come on, Anita. Go. Woo! Uh-huh, uh-huh. You are cheating. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, on that very victorious note, we're about to get into five things with Helen. Yes. It's going to be very interactive, mm -hmm. guys. So do get involved. Class is in session. So. For today's five things, these are five top tips for your Christmas photo shoot. Nice. All right, top tip number one, make sure you choose a theme and a style. So okay. maybe this year you want to be Virgin Mary. Uh, <laughs> maybe you have a newborn, for example, you want him to be baby Jesus. You can choose a theme that is in line with Christmas, something okay. out of the norm, Anita. Mm -hmm. That might suit you on your next yeah. photo shoot. Yeah. Out okay. of the norm, love it. Okay, well, the next top tip, Sika, you will embody this very easily. Have a cheerful attitude yeah. towards okay. the photo shoot. Positivity. So, there you go. You can steal some of Sika's poses and the smiles to enhance your next photo shoot. My poses. Okay. You're talking to the two pose queens here. Yeah. The that number one true. pose queen. That is number true. One pose she already queen. gave us like three tips <laughs> already. And now for the very, 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 very important tip. Make sure you get a good camera. Make sure you prepare some props and decorations. I'll go as far to say make sure you get a good cameraman or a camera Woman. woman. So they'll be telling you, smile, click, click, click when the pictures come. You don't like it. <laughs> Let's avoid that by making sure we're prepped and ready. Yes. Okay. Another top tip, learn to use fun and silly poses. Okay. Um, that is why I didn't go to Regina and to Anita Sika, because they're giving us pow, they're giving us high fashion, darling. But for Christmas, you want it to be laid back, you want it to be homely, mm. you want it to be... You and know, that's a bit me. more relaxed, yes. We, we can do that too. You can do that too? <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll be looking out for that on the ground, sure, okay? Sure. And then lastly, especially for those who will be doing maybe couple shoots, family shoots, mm -hmm. you should coordinate your outfits and accessories. I love that. Who else looks forward to the matching pajama Christmas photo shoot I don't, trend? I don't, I don't look forward to it. It's <laughs> Same because here. you For are me and mine to you are so lonely. You are so lonely. In any case, if you are not lonely, get some matching outfits, coordinate, make it fun, make it exciting, okay. so that you can look back at these memories and, you know, really enjoy them. Mm. On that note, this is it for five tips for your next Thank Christmas you, photo shoot. Thank you, Helen. Helen, will you be doing um, a, a photo, you know, a photo shoot for Christmas this year? I will. I will, will you be, be doing matching pajamas with your... Quincy Jones. <laughs> Good question. Jones. I, I will just, you? I just might. I just okay. Might. Okay. So Looking just forward to then. it. All right. Okay. This is where Regina takes okay. us on a break. Okay. We that we don't have the matching pajamas. <laughs> Take us on a break. All right. You're still watching the Lady Circle. We'll go for a quick break. When we come back, we still have more on the show. That's right. Yeah, yeah, this is Lady Circle. Many thanks to Yaz Sanitary Pad, MTN, Yamvita, Onga, Woodin. We are just in time for the last leg of the journey. Thank you so much for returning to us right here on the Ladies Circle. And some thank yous also going out to our sponsors. Thank you, Yaz, Woodin, Onga, Tasty, Tom, MTL, Cowbell, Yamvita, and also to Gluta White. All right, it's now time for Guilty, Not Guilty. guilty. We always entreat you, you know, to play with us. If you do have these cards, kindly send us a picture. <laughs> You know, and tag the lady circle okay. so that we know that the family, the guilty, not guilty family is strong. Ladies, are you ready? Yes. yes. All right. Question one. Have you ever been attracted to a young, abled man? Young, abled man. Yeah. He's explaining the abled. You young man. Young man. <laughs> Have you ever been attracted to a younger man? Yeah, oh, a younger man. man. Yes. Oh, yeah. Younger. Younger, like younger oh, than like me. younger, younger. Yes, like younger than you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Never. 
I'm yeah. feeling a bit judged right now. <laughs> oh, I have. Yeah. Have you? Have you? I'm doing like how old was the person? Younger? Yeah, I mean, the youngest person that I've... Let me not talk too much, but yeah, I do like a younger man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, five years is probably the, the lowest I would go. Okay. Maybe I actually... I did go on a date with somebody who was eight years younger. Younger yeah. than you, okay. What did you guys very, talk about? Oh, he, he was... He's, he's sort of older beyond his years. Mm, he runs okay. two businesses. It was a very different oh, sort okay. of... okay. All right. Well, mm. well, the young guy, baby. The young guy, you actually know who he is. Who? The guy that I was here. Oh, I do? You do. <laughs> Let's keep it moving. All right, question number two. Have you wow. ever been harassed by an older man for a relationship? Guilty. <laughs> Harass Is that oh. sky blue? <laughs> harassed? Yeah, or propositioned mm -hmm. by an older man. I haven't man. been harassed yet. Approach, okay, yeah. but you've been approached. As in, you've not but been approached, approached by an older man? No, approached. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, approached. <laughs> I thought so, Regina. I thought so. Anita. I thought so. <laughs> approached definitely. I, I, Anita. <laughs> Nothing but the truth. Yes. So you've never been you approached swear. by an older man. Or say harass. <laughs> harass. Have you been ha approached by an older man? Oh, of course. To be in a oh, relationship. Yeah. They approach you everywhere in oh. church, mm. at the supermarket. I'm when, not I'm when saying I'm in buying general. Watching, in general. Okay. It's normal. Yeah. It's normal. Yeah. Have you ever been in a relationship where you were the breadwinner <laughs> and this caused tension? Never. No, no. Breadwinner. Not really. Breadwinner <laughs> is quite strong. But I mean, I've been in relationships where I've had to hold the faults, yeah, which, yeah. but it, it was reciprocal, but not win the bread, no. Well, she won the bread. We want to know I how mean, that Oh, was. no, 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 not bread, bread, but like, <laughs> <laughs> he was bread in school, rolls? I was working, wanted okay. to start a business, oh. so I had oh. to fund it. Oh, he was in school, so he was yes, younger. Yes. No, he wasn't younger, but oh. he had to do like five years yes, of school, school. Okay. okay, and I did less, so. Okay, oh. okay. And now he's a doctor, oh? <laughs> doctor? <laughs> how, how did and that end now up? he's a surgeon. <laughs> mm, how did that end up, darling? In tears. In tears. You see? He showed you shaking. Yeah, he, oh, yeah, serious shaking. Question but, number we move, four. We move. <laughs> Have you ever thought of being with a wealthier man in the past for a soft life? Oh. <laughs> I still, oh, I still, I, can't say, like, I, I, I still want to. Bring it to the place. <laughs> <laughs> call me Zello <laughs> <laughs> All right, and who question, doesn't want to? Who doesn't want a soft life? Yeah. Question number five. Have you ever dated a broke boy? <sighs> Guilty. I'm still, yeah. You're still dating a bro. Whoever you are, sorry. Okay, you are getting old. Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, but they are building. They are building together. They are building together. I have hope and faith. I believe. <laughs> All right, um, Regina, whoever this boy is, honestly, she's rooting for you, and we're all rooting yeah. for you as well to come out of the brokenness. Yes. Regina, what are some of the um, upcoming projects you're working on? We know um, Ghana's most photogenic, which airs every Saturday. I mean, today is airing at 8 p.m., mm -hmm. so you have to watch. But oh. what other things are you working, Am I working on? working on currently? Um, well, currently, it's just gone. It's most photogenic. Mm -hmm. um, but next year, I definitely have projects I'm working on. There are movies that I'm going to be, nice. you know, featured in. And I personally want to also do my own production. I've done about two productions, mm -hmm. two short films. Um, next year, I want to do a, a feature film. So I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to that. I'm very excited about it. Um, the rest, I leave it to God in heaven and my yeah. good boyfriend. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try by now. Maybe he's waiting for you. <laughs> he's outside waiting for you. He's, he's, he's at the gate. He's you will come and meet me here. But anyway, it's been fun having oh, you. Thank you for Gina. having me. Thank you so much. Thank yes, you. yes. We hope you come back again. If you'd have me. Yeah. Oh, oh, this place, it's home. Okay. Mm. You can always, always, always come, always, always mm. come here. Always, Safe always. space. Safe space. Anyways, <laughs> um, we have um, uh, just... Something. Ah, let me hand it over to yeah. uh, my, yes. my winning partner. Sure, sure. Is, I can is do it for that. me? I can yes, do that. it's for you. Yes. 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 We're in the season of giving. Can Feel I free to share with us, too? but it's for you. <laughs> oh, put me on the show every time. I'll be here. Oh, All right, so, so Yaz wants you to have a very festive time. There's an array of Yaz products in there. Something for wow. breakfast, something for that time of the month, something okay. to wash your clothing. Oh. There's some toothpaste. It's a whole gamut Thank of things you. in here. So go and enjoy. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Thank you.
Thank you, Yaz. Thank you, Lady Circle. You ladies are so generous. Yes. Uh, this, is, this is who we are. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, Regina, you say you'll be back soon on the Lady Circle. Mm -hmm. We're holding you to that offer. We can't oh, wait to see it. you again. And all the best with all your oh, future endeavors. Thank you so much, and Thank All you. right. Well, we're bidding you adios, au revoir, and what's Goodbye. Goodbye. This has been the Lady Circle. Africa money, not everyone they chop. Our money, not everyone they chop. Yeah, hey, president, they chop. Africa money now everyone they drop Our money now everyone they drop Yeah, president they drop